All right, y'all. It's time to play your first note on the guitar. So what we're going to do is we're going to approach this in a very easy way. Um, do not overthink it. There's two elements that are going to go into uh, playing the guitar, uh, especially playing your first note. It's so wild, right? Enjoy this time. It's going to be amazing. Um, so you get your right hand, which is going to be a picking hand. Uh, or if or actually, I, I'll rephrase it. Depending on where you're, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, um, if I'm, if you're right-handed like me, your right hand is going to be your picking hand, the one you strum with, the one you pick everything. Uh, your left hand will be your fretting hand, which is going to be uh, playing the notes. Typically, the way, the way you want to see it is, you know, if you're a car, this is the engine, and this is the steering wheel. So. This typically gets the rhythm going, the flow going, and this is what's going to get the notes out that you want and, and, and push the music where it needs to go harmonically or melodically. Now, when we go to fretting, which is our first step, is I want you to think of fretting with two analogies. You want to think of a crab claw for grip, and you want to think of you know a spider's legs for when you're on top of the fretboard. So... I'm going to pick a fret and a string, and then you're going to put one of your fingers on. So I'm, I'm going to come over here using, by the way, I have to explain my fingers. Uh, you've got your thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. That's how we do guitar. It's not like piano. So guitar is thumb, one, two, three, four. So first finger is index, second finger is middle finger, third finger is ring finger, fourth finger is pinky. Now that we got that out of the way, we're going to get our first finger and we're going to put it on the third fret. So go one, two, three, and then on the first string, and then you're going to play that note. Just smack it. See how you go. It might sound horrible. Um, don't feel bad. Now, when I'm fretting, if you can see here, I've gone to the end of the fret. So where, this is where third, this is the end of th fret three. And then I drop it into the middle of the whole fret section. And so I've got it between the end and the middle. And that is where you're going to find the easiest success towards picking a note. And when I said about the crab claw method, like thinking of it as like a crab claw, you're going to grab your thumb and you're going to put your thumb behind the fretboard. And then you're going to squeeze, squeeze the note in. So you're using the muscles in your thumb from like your thumb and your forearm, it squeezes in, you'll feel it, the, the squeezing motion. You can even see the little muscles engaging there. So you're using way more strength and that's going to get you, if you can get really comfortable with that feeling, you're gonna get so much, so much clarity in the notes, especially once we get into bar chords and things like that. You know, you'll have a lot more you'll just get like such clean sounds and you won't have to do a lot of work, which is what we're trying to do. We want to make the least amount of work possible. So get into there. First, first string, third fret, first finger, bang. Give that a go. And then we're going to slide up to the fifth fret. And then I want you to play open, which means nothing. Easy, right? So you got... Boom. Super easy. So have a bit of fun with that. When we're going back to the right hand, you have two options. You can either use your fingers or you can use a guitar pick, which is right here. Now, if you want to opt in for using the guitar pick, which some of you might have, there's two, there's two fundamental thing, parts to the, the guitar pick. There's the, the grip, which is the fat side of the pick. And then there is the pointy end, which is where you are meant to strike the string. Now, what I would recommend you do is if you're going to start out with this and you think it's really weird, you want to get your thumb, put it on the fat part of the pick, and then you're going to make your finger into a hook and then put where the, the first knuckle is starting, you're going to put that hook, bang, right there. And then that is going to be how you grip the pick to start with. Eventually, you'll find your groove and how comfortable. I've seen people hold picks like this and they do absolute savage guitar runs. So, or like this. I've, I, I kid you not, I've seen someone use the pick like this and they were very good. So, um, 
there's a million ways to skin the cat, but that's just the easiest way I would recommend you start with. You'll be a bit confused at the beginning. You'll be like, oh, this feels weird. That's right, because it's completely different to what you're normally used to, so don't feel bad. So you can either use a pick, or you can use your thumb, or your first finger. I really don't care. The goal is just make a noise. Um, start making noise on your guitar. So give that a good try. Um, let me double check. I haven't missed anything. Nope. Oh, hold your guitar. How to hold your guitar. In case you guys are wondering, you're probably looking. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but find a position that works for you. Everyone's guitars are different. Everyone's bodies are different. Um, some positions might hurt your back, things like that. Typically, I would aim to be towards the end of your chair. Um, so you're using your back to support. That's how you do like, this is the most ergonomic and healthiest way to do it. Um, but so for me, the most comfortable way is I sit on the edge of my chair, I get my guitar and I put it on my right leg and I'm just here and I've got all the space to move my, my left hand. Now, other people might prefer the classical approach um, where they have the guitar sitting up like this. Um, and what they can do is you can get like a footstool and put it down there and they like hold it up like this and they're like. Now this was typically the best way to hold your guitar back in the day where it looked cool to do this. Now we live in an era of aesthetics and being awesome and a rock star. So we do this. Nah, kidding. It's do whatever's comfortable for you. So honestly, um, some people prefer the other way. I don't prefer it that way. Um, typically you find the least amount of friction the higher the guitar is for your shoulders and for how you play. So it just depends on, on your body, um, how you feel. Some people have issues with their shoulders. Some people have issues with their backs. Um, don't feel bad if like, if it's not working for you, just do whatever works most comfortably for you. And also just jump into the discussions and be like, hey, I'm having a hard time like finding a way to be comfortable while playing guitar. And then you show us a picture of how you're playing the guitar and then we can give you feedback on it. Um, because a lot of people come up with clever ways to reduce pain, um, especially because some people, like I, I've had students that they, um, they really love playing the guitar and it's like the thing that helps them like calm down. And, uh, and, but they just physically could not get a good position on the guitar because the instrument, depending on the kind of instrument you have, might be a bit bulky or things like that. And so we will find a way to, to make it more comfortable for you. Or you could like get a guitar strap and practice standing up. Some people prefer that. They prefer to just literally stand up and have a guitar strap. And then that's, that's how they do it. So let's get into it. Um, that is how you're gonna play first note. Give me feedback. I hope, uh, I hope that absolutely was uh, blew your mind that you know you could make a note. You made sound. What? But make sure you are picking up your guitar when you're watching these videos. Um, because I, uh, like, I know how I process videos. I would sit down and like, I'd watch the video and I'd be like, oh, wow, cool. Um, that is 100% not going to get you good. Watching the video doesn't mean anything if, if you don't pick up your guitar. So pick up your guitar, make sure you're watching the video with your guitar and you're like, all right, cool. I'm going to do this thing that he's saying and actually just make the mistakes. We're just going to fumble around, make a lot of noise and have a bit of fun with it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where we learn how to tune our guitar. All right.